so this is my note taking app it looks nice it has a very clutter free look and elegant design it is rendered by glow a terminal ui and i write my notes in markdown format it has very beautiful colors with a pink accent going on i think it looks nice if you want to edit something just hit e on your keyboard and it open your note in your code editor if you want to edit something by hi hi youtube save it with it and here you go in this video you will see how i set up this workflow for myself and you get some idea how you can do it too first we have to install glow in our device first go to the github page of glow this is the github page of glow they gives us a very nice idea about how it look like in your setup it is a very beautiful markdown renderer for your terminal to install it go to the releases page scroll down and you can see the assets i am a linux user this is the 64-bit tarball let's download it to install in our system my download is completed and here is the file of the glow tarball first extract it in our download folder inside the glow folder we see the glow binary to access it from anywhere in our system we have to move it in our path so move the glow binary to the user local folder now the glow is installed in my system in the next part i am also installing NeoVim as this is my favorite code editor if you want to use nano with it you can just skip this section you can find the timestamp in the video description this is the NeoVim website to install NeoVim in my system i have to click on the install now button it takes me to their github page and they have given a very extensive guide on how to install NeoVim in my system as i'm using ubuntu which is linux they have so many options for me this is a tarball also they provide an app image and they have distro specific package for arch centos debian fedora etc etc i need this uh, tarball to install nvim in my system go to the release page scroll down to the latest stable release and inside the assets i find this nvim linux tarball download it and go to our terminal to extract and install nvim in my system nvim tarball is downloaded in my device now extract it to install in my device first i move the nvim linux file to my opt directory inside the opt folder go to the nvim linux and inside it go to the binary folder here you can see this is the nvim binary in our system if you want to test it just execute this binary of neovim to get this neovim editor if you don't know how to exit from it just hit the escape key then colon and q you have success will escape from NeoVim. To run NeoVim from any directory of my system, I have to add the path for NVIM. For that, first copy the location of the NeoVim in my system, then I have to add it in my BSRC file. Let's open the BSRC file, go to the bottom. Here you can see I have already added NeoVim in my path. Now, from my home directory, if I type NeoVim, NeoVim can be executed from anywhere in my system. If you make NVIM as your default editor, again, open the bsrc file and in the bottom export editor to nvim also i have made an lis to neovim and when i type vim the neovim is executed because neovim is my default as my software installation is completed let's try it out first create some random documents to see if the glow is working and correctly displaying our notes let's run glow it beautifully display our markdown notes and if i want to go any of that it is blank because yeah we don't <laughs> write any content inside it uh, let's go to the edit mode and let's write something save it and here you go glow display the markdown content in the rendered form hit escape to come back to the list mode and i think we are done or not because in this section you see how i convert this markdown file to some beautiful pdfs if you want to uh, share the markdown file to someone who don't know what markdown is then it can be disaster so it is good to send a pdf document nicely formatted inside the template directory i have created two files first one is the markdown template and the second one if you want to make a two column pdf from your markdown document if you want to see what is written inside the markdown document it has some metadata first one is the title title of the document and the second one 
one is the geometry about how you format your PDF document and I want to format my PDF document as A4 paper and want to have margin uh, of 3 cm. If you want to make a two column PDF then the file should look like this. In addition to title and geometry you have to add a class path of two column and then the document result in the beautiful two column PDF. Now the question is writing this uh, metadata for every document is somewhat tedious you have to always come back to this file for that i have a solution when you want to create new document just do it like myself first i read markdown file from my template and then create my new file if you see my new file here you go the title and geometry is pre-applied now i can edit the title as i like and i go to write my note here let's test this with one of my old document first copy its content go to this website md2pdf.fly.dev and in the markdown section paste your selection then from the markdown engine select pdf latex this gives the best professional looking result now hit the convert and download pdf button and our document is downloaded as a pdf it also have syntax highlighting as you can see and now it is nice to share with someone i think we have learned something in this video and now you can also configure your note taking experience with glow and your favorite terminal code editor if you like this video hit the like button and also subscribe and also watch my other videos